Shador. All intents and purposes, he's going to come out this year. Mm -hmm. And his father, Coach Prime, said, look, I don't want my son to play in a cold weather. And I'm going to turn, uh, you know, I'm going to have, have a say in where he plays. Yeah. He said, Eli did it. Even I told teams, I ain't going there. Mm. The thing that he has, that Eli had, is that his dad had money. He got clout. So. And so, you know, he didn't come from no situation oh, where, no. you know, we eating ketchup with a knit, knit needle. Yeah. And we, you know, we robbing Peter to pay Paul. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What, what's an ideal situation? What, first of all, what do you think about Coach Prime saying that he wants Shador to be X, Y, Z? And what do you think an ideal landing spot for Shador would be? Atlanta. They just gave First Cousins all that money. We'll figure all that other out. <laughs> you ever heard of dead cap? Yeah, oh, the, the Broncos got 85 million. So we'll figure all that other out. If Prime can get Shadur <laughs> in Atlanta, but let me tell you something. All businesses, including Magic City, will be appreciative of that damn pit <laughs> right now. Real talk. So these are the things that, but I don't think he'll be a top four pick as he was right. on uh, record to saying. Yeah. And that's fine. I remember having a conversation with Deshaun Watson mm -hmm. when he got drafted because Deshaun, uh, just like with, with Justin Fields, they came through uh, my 707 program. Right. And I had. Both are from Georgia, both one's from Gainesville, and I think uh, from Kennesaw. Yes, sir. Ra he went to, uh, not Roswell. Harrison. Uh, uh, Harrison, correct. Um, and I remember telling them, you're in the best situation than any other of the quarterbacks. He, I think Deshaun went 12th mm -hmm. to Houston. Mm -hmm. You got a quality receiver in D Hop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that level of expectation is like you can, you can. They're going to let you grow a little ooh, bit. You know what I'm saying? I, I think really, too, and I say this humbly, my success in the league was not good for the upcoming rookie quarterbacks. When you see guys like Peyton, Peyton Manning didn't become good until after the second and third year. They threw him out there in the fire, but yeah. if Peyton Manning was drafted in this day and age of, right. of expectations... And throw 26 interceptions, they... No, no, <laughs> hell no. But when, they, when you see a guy like a Joe Burrow, when you see guys that have early success... C.J. Stroud. C.J. Stroud, oh my goodness. What the, it, you want to go somewhere where you can really take your time and becoming the guy your way. See what I'm saying? And that's just some of the things that you got to think about. So from Prime's perspective, it's not just whether that, that I think he's trying to run away from. It's the situation. Right. And I, it, who's you, best equipped to, uh, to because, give my son when, the when tools? You, come on now. When you think about it and you say, do we go to a Giants? And he don't got the talent that he, he, he's capable of having or a, 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 a Las Vegas. See what I'm saying? Like, oh, OK, I see what y'all trying to do over here. We're going to take our talents over there. I don't think weather has anything to do with it. I think certain situations has everything to do with it. Caleb Williams. Um, RG3 said that he believed Caleb Williams should pull a D-line Manning. He don't got the juice. <laughs> <laughs> he don't. When you think about, you ain't even got to say the first name. When you mention the word or utter the word Manning, that come with a little tremble. Like, oh. <laughs> when you think about Sanders, Yo, they don't even know, half the people don't even know his last name. They say Prime. Right. Dion. Mm -hmm. That come with a little rattling of the, ooh, Williams? Nah. And that, you, you say Newton. That ain't got no, you know, juice <laughs> either. You know what I'm saying? We already see what that tried to get you. <laughs> <laughs> we sitting across from Shay Shay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't in nobody camp, you did. OTAs, but that's just the facts. Right. So I think now when you're looking at these situations and, and who got the, the ability to say what they're not going to do, it comes with a pre-existing resume 
Because obviously I got sons. When my son get to that point, hopefully, if he ever is in a draft, my daughters is ever in a draft, oh, you best believe. I, nah, we straight. We good. What y'all want? Mm-mm. Nah, I'm, I'm representing them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know I'm going to put my son and my daughter in the best situation to succeed. Right. And that's not a, a succeeding-esque situation. Right. You want to – do you believe the Bears made the right decision moving on from Justin Fields? Because I said this, Cam, I said, I do not believe the Bears are going to pass up two number one overall quarterbacks in back-to-back years. I said, no way they'll do it. No way. I, I, I would have loved to see what Justin Fields could do with Eddie Keenan. Keenan Allen. They got DJ still they there. Got DJ Moore. Cole Komet still there. You see what I'm saying? Like, what would he would have done with that? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I mean, I guess we'll never know. Are you surprised that they made this move? No. No, I'm not because uh, I don't know what was happening inside that locker room or inside that organization. Um, and we've talked, you know, a couple times, and and I think with Justin. He's one of those. He's not. He's not a vocal person. He's not vocal like you, Cam. Yeah, he not. He not. Nobody else do, Cam. Yeah, which is true. But <laughs> I'm saying, like, I don't think he could express himself. I, or nor did I think he knew how to express himself in a way that it wouldn't come off in a conflicting way. Right. But in that position, you gotta have. You got to have some to you. I'll give you another person who may not be vocal, but he got some to him. Aaron Rodgers. Mm-hmm. You don't see Aaron Rodgers. Hey, bring it up. Everybody on me. That's one of those. Like, when they do that, that's yeah, a swaggy boy. Bad, cold, <laughs> cold. But he just does it in his subtle way. Long way. You know what I'm saying? So all these different players is, you know, you got to have some, some stuff to you. Let's talk about his uh, his fashion. He's received a lot of criticism, um, painting his nails, mm-hmm. doing certain things. You were a guy that caught a lot of criticism from the way you dress. Man, Cam with them tight clothes on. He think how they this and that. They look good. They don't look good. Mm-hmm. He got them hats. He may need to do. How the hate that that he received and you received. How would you how would you tell him to handle that situation and how did you handle it? Just be you. We don't need no more Cam Newtons. We don't need no more Patri- uh, 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 Peyton Mannings or Patrick Mahomes or Tom Brady. We need unique players being themselves. And I got news for you. Gen Z is here and Gen Z is here to stay. Right. So whatever you may think that. Oh, that ain't football, man. The dude got pink nails. But I guarantee if he paint his nails pink, even dye his hair pink, if they win the football games, ain't nobody going to worry about that Thank shit. Thank you. Like, let's keep the main thing the main thing. Don't get worried about fashion. Like, bro, I have a life outside of football. These are things that I like. I love art. I love, you know, fashion. I love my family. I love doing things that will take my mind off of the daily rigors of, the pressures of, of, of performing. And you can't judge me. I don't go to your cubicle. I don't go to your job saying what you can and can't do. Why are you drinking a caramel macchiato? Ain't you counting your calories? <laughs> but, you know, it, it just is what it is. I, I, I think, you know, what Caleb Williams represents is something that is, is, is unique to who he is. And we can't be uh, hypocrites to allowing... Why we like that, Cam? I don't I ain't like that. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.